Okay, so we've seen so many different ways that we can add color and interest to the image. And there's one last thing to get this kind of sharpness that I like in my inspiration, which I've lost a little bit with the color holds and with the glows. What I'm going to do is make a duplicate of my vector, turn off all the effects, put it all the way to the top, right? Just so it's on top of everything. And then what I can do is set it to a multiply mode, take its opacity down, and just decide how much I want it. So that's what it was with zero. But let's bring it back a little bit. So the color holds aren't quite as strong. And I might decide, okay, I want that kind of crispness, but instead of it being solid black, maybe I just want it to be a dark blue. So I'll do that as a color hold. And it's a, it's subtle for sure, but let's see if you can even tell but it gives a little bit of color to these lines when I put it into normal mode. All right. So now with that, I can check it and see if I like it on the different backgrounds before I submit it. And to do that, I just turn on. Now with the color holds and the glows, you see that it shows up pretty well even on black might show up even a little bit better on black with without the deadening I just did. So I got to find like a happy medium for all these things. So I have it on at 10%. <laughs> then it looks pretty good on gray, though a little washed out. Gray isn't always the best color. And then on white, it looks pretty good. So Turn off all your backgrounds so you see just the grid. And then I would recommend going above, holding down Option, and saying Layer, Merge Visible, so that your whole image with color holds and everything is just onto one layer. You can put the rest in a group and just turn it off. So now it's all right there, and it gives you one last time when you can play with auto tone, right? And kind of widen it up. And now this has the textures in it. It's got all those colorings. It's got the color holds. It's got the special effects in the eyes. And see if you like that. It will show you if you need some adjustment, like maybe I just need to push my blacks a little bit, optimize my histogram a little, and maybe that's all it needs, right? Because I like, I like the red of the color holds in here and in here coming through. So that sharpens it up a little bit more like this, even though there's a lot more full spectrum color going on. Okay, now I want to save it. This is my Photoshop. And I want to um, save it as a PNG. So I saved it as my PSD file. Now I save as a copy with the backgrounds turned off to my where I can find it, either on my desktop or in my assignment folder. I'm going to save it as a PNG, as a full color spot illustration assignment 5. Keep all the default settings. Now it's free floating. The other thing I need to turn in is my black line art. And I can just go back to my first use of the vector. Got to find that vector. You can use it really anywhere and just turn off all effects on it. Turn off all the coloring. Oh, that's the one I want, right there. Turn off those effects. Just your clean vector line art. 
You can save that as a PNG or as a JPEG, doesn't matter. So I'll save it as a copy, as a JPEG, just so it doesn't, I don't have to change the name. But I'll also change the name, because why not? So this is now my assignment five vector line art. Now I can close those. Close my inspiration. Go to Canvas. And find what I want to post. So I have my PNG, which free floating looks like this. That gray is just a mock-up for any background. So that gets posted. I'm going to mark that orange. And then my vector line art, which is right here, as a JPEG. I'm going to post that. I've already posted my sketch. And then I'm going to show you how you can post it to Redbubble. So assignment five, post here. Add to my sketch. Just those two requirements, the vector line art, shrink it so it fits, the vector can be any size, right? This is a PNG of the vector, so you can put it onto canvas. And then the, the final digital digital coloring solution, even if it's just flat color. So mine looks like a 80s metal poster trying to show you all the different coloring options. So it's this PNG with no background. Now the versatility of the PNG is that I can now put it up to Redbubble as a digital spot illustration. And all you do is, once you're logged in, all you need is a, an email address to create an account. Then you just add new work. And this is why we learn so much about file formats. You take your high resolution PNG. Remember, this was 350 by 8 by 10. So it's about the smallest you'd ever want it to be but it's good for print resolution, right? As long as you're not making something bigger than, say, 11 by 14. But it uploads pretty quickly. Give it a title. Day of the Dead. Nico Mascot. And I'll see. I don't think I need to fill these in right now to start playing with it and seeing how it looks on different project products, right? So how it would look on a shirt. And I can play with its size. So if you do it at that resolution, you'll be able to put it full size on clothing and on most of their products. You just won't be able to do like the bedding and really large scale prints. And you can play with that. You have to unenable a lot of things that you don't want. But I always like stickers and magnets. It's the main thing I like. You can adjust the cropping. You can adjust the background color if it's a PNG. You can do everything. But look at all the different options you have. This could be a good student handbook for those depressed students. Perfect for the holiday. Oh, the button. I like the button. I'm going to keep the button. Canvas tote bag. Why not? God, they're always adding more. Fitted masks. Duffel bags. So many things. All from that one PNG to kind of just show you the versatility. All right, so I'll keep the magnet. 
I haven't played with this yet. I'm going to play with the bucket hat. I just have to squeeze it in. And then I can move it. Look at all the colors of bucket hat. Ah, that's kind of lame. Never mind. Let's try a different color for the large print. That's at 100%. Very nice. All right, and then this is why we use Redbubble. I can say I am the only one that wants to be able to see this. I'm still working on it. I'm not sure I want it like public yet. And you do have to check this copyright because you are not allowed to sell other people's stuff, right? I think any featured company's name or logo, a mascot's different, and NLC is only subtly in it. But maybe I check with my PR office first before I make it public. That kind of thing. So they do make you check that. Is it mature content? Never. Never mature. Not for me. Not while I'm wearing a werewolf nose. So what can be fun about this is that then you can see their mock-ups. And when I do t-shirt designs for clients, I often have to create these for people so they can see what the design would look like on different shirts. Let's see, view product page. So if you like, if you do put your spot illustration onto Redbubble, go ahead and just take a screen grab of the product you like it on. And go ahead and post that to Canvas so people can see your work in action in the world. And I'm not going to police you whether you make it public or private. That's on you. But remember, once you make it public, that's out of the educational realm. So you're claiming the rights for it. Make sense? All right. And then the stickers. I love the stickers. Stickers are great. So, let's uh, critique these. 